The inside's like a livery, kind of heart flavor. If you've ever had heart before, or like animal heart. <laughs> Today we're traveling from Europe to Asia and back for some very different and interesting dishes that we're really excited to try. Sounds far, doesn't it? Luckily for us, Istanbul straddles both continents. So off we go to Asia. A tea on the boat ride is an absolute must. And these teas together were only three and a half lira, which is like 50 cents for both of them. So definitely, definitely something you have to do when you're on the boat ride over. We made it to Asia! Today we're gonna to be trying out two different restaurants. One of them for kokoretch and midi, which is awful stuffed intestines and mussels. And the other for a very traditional historical dish that is oftentimes considered Turkey's national dish, kuru fasuli. Let's go. We're here at the Pilav restaurant and we're going to be trying the Kuru Fasuli, which is a very traditional Ottoman cuisine that is a very homemade type meal that you would get if you went to someone's house here in Turkey. So what it is is white beans in a tomato kind of sauce, so a bit like a stew, and you can get it served with rice and meat, a type of kind of braised meat. So we're gonna try all of it together because that's how you gotta do it. So. Let's check it out. So we barely just sat down and we were already brought a lovely uh, basket of fresh bread, which seems to be the typical thing here in Turkey. So we've ordered a large portion of the meat, beans, and rice, as well as a portion of meat on the side, a little extra meat for Chris. And we've both gotten two fresh homemade irons, so we're really excited to see what those taste like as well. So our fresh iron just came. I didn't quite like the grocery store pre-packaged iron. It's a little salty and just didn't really like the flavor, so I'm gonna give this a try. This is the homemade stuff you get in some of the restaurants here, so let's give it a try. Mmm. So, still very, very salty, but it has a bit more sweetness than the pre packaged one from the grocery store I had the other day, so definitely a better taste. Yeah, that's good. Everything has come. We've got our two irons, our really, really big portion of the beans, pilav, and meat, as well as our second little meat portion here. So let's just dig in and give it a taste. You can see the beans look super hearty, really tomatoey already. I'm gonna start with the meat though. Mm, really tender really tender quite juicy this is beef so we've gotten the beef with this this meat and it's got kind of like a brisket kind of taste to it to be honest that's really nice yeah so the beans it's got a nice tomato taste to it honestly they're very similar to like baked beans that we get at home but much better i would say because these white beans Similar to the sort of, you know, um, pasty bean texture, but they're just so big and plump. These are really, really nice. And, and the tomato sauce, it's very, very rich. Almost tastes like maybe a tomato paste or something with it. That's good. Mm. So I'll try some of the rice now. Wow. Holy. That is, that is so buttery. Oh my goodness. Wow. So we've got some, I'm 
not sure. It might just be some color from the way it's cooked, I think, like that. But it is crazy buttery. I actually love butter, and when I make rice at home, I put way too much butter on it. It's like swimming in butter. That's almost what this tastes like. That's really, really good. Try all three. Mm. It's really nice all mixed together. You have the buttery rice, the nice rich tomato flavor of the beans with the meat, all three together. That's a really, really nice comp combination. They all complement each other really, really well. So this large portion is actually a lot of food here. There's a lot of rice, a lot of beans. I'd say the meat, there's not as much meat as there is rice and beans on the plate. So I'm glad that we ordered a second portion of meat, a side portion of meat because I love meat and that'll go good with the rice and beans because now we have a lot of meat. We're really glad that we got to try this restaurant because we got to sample a really traditional, very homemade uh, Turkish meal. It was super hearty, really, really tasty, and the portion that we got was definitely big enough for two. It was the large portion and it cost 35 Turkish lira. So for the portion of all three, the meat on the side and the two iron, all of it came together for 60 Turkish lira, which is just about $9 Canadian. So for the amount of food that we got, it was a really, really great price. After such a hearty and filling meal, we're gonna go do a little bit of exploring and walk it all off. Then we're gonna be off to our next restaurant where we will watch Chris eat intestines stuffed with other organs. I can't wait. We've been walking around this Asian side of Istanbul for a little bit now here in Katakoy and we're getting hungry again but before we go to our next restaurant for our next meal we found a donut stall and we haven't seen a donut stall or any donuts really since we've been here in Turkey so Steph loves donuts so I think we should get her one. So I've got myself a double lemon donut here. Uh, the man at the shop was super, super nice and friendly and listed out all the different flavors for me. So this really tickled my fancy. So let's give it a shot. It's so big. So, so far, haven't reached the second lemon on the inside, but that's a nice donut. I'd say that tops to more, sorry, but it does. Look at that lemon. Okay, it's time to eat again, and we're almost at the Kokoretch uh, restaurant. So here, we're gonna try the Kokoretch and the Medyi Dolma, which is the stuffed intestines and stuffed mussels. Can't wait to try this, because we haven't really had a lot of seafood since we've been here, so let's go. So we sat down at Rex Kokoretch, which is a Kokoretch restaurant that specializes in Kokoretch, which is the stuffed intestines, and they also have the Midi Dolma, which are the stuffed mussels. 
So cockroach is stuffed intestines, and what it is is they take the offal, which is the heart, lungs, and liver, kind of like a kebab, and they skewer it on a horizontal skewer, and they wrap the offal with a lamb or goat intestine, and then they kind of grill it over the, the skewer, over the fire. They serve the cockroach in different ways. It looks like three different ways. They usually serve it diced up, kind of in like, kind of like a stir fry it looks like, or they slice it up. And in this case, we got a halka portion, which is they slice it into circles and just put it on a plate. And I guess you eat it with a fork and a knife or with your hands, I'm not sure. So our midi dolma, which are the stuffed mussels just arrived. So they come with a wedge of lemon, it looks like. And the mussels are cold. And the reason why they're stuffed is because inside each muscle, there's rice with sometimes pine nuts. And we read currants as well. This one looks like it's stuffed with rice and possibly pine nuts. So let's give it a try. So the mussels are cold. So I'm interested to see if the rice is cold or hot. So let's try it. it smells really, really nice. This nice spice smell to the rice. Mmm. That's really good. The spice of the rice, you can taste kind of like some thyme to it. It's kind of like a fried rice with mussels. I'm gonna give it a try with some lemon. So I'm gonna open this up here. Squeeze a bit of lemon on it. Let's try it with some lemon. <clears throat> oh. Lemon really gives it a kick. Gives it that zing, that zingy flavor. Ooh. Right away, I can already smell the spices. If you see, there's spices on it. There's chili peppers, there's thyme. I really like intestines and organs. Uh, being Chinese, you know, we grew up with that kind of thing. So I'm really interested to see how this tastes. All right, let's dig into this. So it looks really, really good. It smells amazing. We're just cutting into it. It's like you can see all the different layers of the intestines and the different offal. Looks like liver and kind of like heart and lung. Smells really good. Smells like organs. <laughs> Let's do it. Mmm. Really, really chewy. Flavor pops really, really well. Seems like there's a bit of a curry powder on top as well with the chili powder. You can taste oregano and thyme as well. It's really, really tasty. It's kind of got like that tripey kind of intestine flavor because the casing is kind of like a tripe mm. it's got it's really juicy probably because it's been spinning on the kebab on the skewer and roasting it keeps the juices inside really really well being a awful lover i don't know if steph who doesn't really like uh intestines and organs is gonna like this very much but Hopefully she does, and we'll we'll give her a try and see see how she likes it too. All right, so I'm gonna give this a try now. I can honestly already tell just the smell of the spices are really really good, um, but but we'll see how the rest of it is. You can tell it's really juicy when you cut into it, so there's a lot of fat in there with it. So let's just do it. So first bite. It's actually pretty good. I was a little wary of the texture, but I've had organs before, especially some intestines, and it has a very like weird, chewy, crunchy texture. But that is different. It's chewier, almost similar to like muscle, to just regular meat. So honestly, for someone who's not a huge fan of organs or offal, that's actually pretty good. I might be converted especially with all the spices and everything. That's really tasty. Well, I should definitely try one of these mussels as well then. Can't let Chris have all the fun. There we go. 
You definitely have the flavor of the mussels, but the rice has really nice spice to it and a bit of a kick to it as well. The mussels actually less kind of chewy than it is sometimes. It's a bit more tender and really nice and soft with the rice. That's a really nice combo. And that together with the kokoretch, this is a good meal. So the kokoretch was really tasty. It was actually really, really flavorful. The stuffed mussels on the side was also a really good addition with the rice. Again, it tasted like a fried rice with a mussel, mussel fried rice, like in a bite, like a bite-sized mussel fried rice. So both really good. Price-wise, the kokoretch, the portion of the kokoretch was 66 Turkish lira and a portion of the stuffed mussels, which came with about 10 or 12 mussels, was 20 lira. So all in all, it was 86 lira, which is about $12, which is a pretty good deal for some seafood and some organs if you're into that. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. We're hungry to travel. We'll see you next meal.